the York Stakes. Next up then, this is a Class 2 0 to 100 handicap. And we are racing over a trip of nine furlongs again. And it's for two-year-olds this time. It's a long way for the two-year-olds to go. So it's a nursery, not a handicap. Ponto Rosso at the top for Darren Thompson. Empress Eileen for Padre Hogan. Silk Dress, Graham Clutterbuck. Cairo Dan, Padre Hogan. Mince Pie, Craig Beck with Seattle Caprice. Vinnie Gerard Sundar, Kevin Meanham, who's also got Grand Harbour. And Tom Bombadil for Satyam is the bottom one then. And all ready to go. And away they go. The Grand Harbour a little bit slow to go. Right over on the far side, Empress Eileen is disputing the lead with Sundar, and Sundar now usurped by Cairo Dan. So Cairo Dan, that is, who goes on, gets across to the fence, and has quickly gone five clear of Punto Rasso in second, then Silk Dresser and Sundar, Empress Eileen on the inside is next, Mince Pie is chasing that one, Grand Harbour and Tom Bombadil on the back two, and caught a little bit wide those two as well, losing a little bit of ground on this turn, but Cairo Dan is a good six or seven lengths clear of Silk Dresser in second, and Punto Rasso in third, Mince Pie is in fourth, then Grand Harbour and Empress Eileen, and towards the back, Seattle Caprice is now the back marker as they complete the swing into the straight and Cairo Dan is clear by a good six lengths to Silk Dress in second, Grand Harbour is third and Punto Rasso four, Mince Pie in the centre of the track, Tom Bombadil now makes a forward move and Sundial also still there, also coming through there now, he's Grand Harbour looking to the back now, Empress Island is the back mark of the field beginning to bunch, they've got three and a half furlongs still to go and Cairo Dan leads by about a head to Tom Bombadil Silk Dress, then Sundial Mince Pie still sitting quite up the centre of the track, the one that switched around the outside Seattle Caprice coming a little bit wide on the track, probably looking for better ground Cairo Dan on the rail, still in front Punto Rasso after that one then comes Tom, Tom Bombadil, Sundar Seattle Caprice is back in fifth but it's Tom Bombadil who's got the lead there with a further and a half to go, Tom Bombadil the impressed immediately though by Punto Rasso, Cairo Dan fighting back as well then Sundar in Brisailing is running on well so still dressed, Punto Rasso hits the front, inside the far half well, it's Punto Rasso but we impressed now by Empress Eileen, Punto Rasso, and Empress Eileen getting closer, but Punto Rasso looks strong enough and wins it. Empress Eileen second, then Sundar and Seattle Caprice and Grand Harbour, and all the way back to Tom Bombadil. So, another one in the book for Darren Thompson, as Punto Rasso takes the nine furlong nursery, and let's get a full list of the connections. It's Punto Rasso, the winner for Darren Thompson. Empress Eileen second for Padre Hogan. Sundar for Kevin Meanham was third. Seattle Caprice for Vinnie Gerard was fourth. And Grand Harbour for Kevin Meanham again was fifth.